Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. We will be doing the second of the new missions today, which is Delta Flight. I have made a slight change. I have put Science Team on my ship because I believe that gets rid of some of the Intel debuffs. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think it does. And uh, that could be important when we're fighting the uh, Heralds because they do use a lot of Intel abilities, which are annoying. Still, let's start Delta Flight, and what are we going to do with the Preserver Arc I've destroyed? The Ar the Iconians at the end of the last episode committed genocide, so now, on you know, genocide on the oldest race in the galaxy, so what are we uh, going to do now? Captain Tom Paris has requested your ship for a joint mission with his task force. I won't lie to you. We're not making much headway against the Iconians so far. You and your crew have proven to be capable of fighting them. Delta Flight is one of the only other teams to do so. Together, perhaps you can start to turn the tide. Probably Report not. to the Cal Brighton system. Captain Paris and his team are waiting for you there. Probably not this early, but let's see. That's quite a cool console. Hmm, that's quite a nice console, that. And I get to train one of my guys in being a pilot. I'm not sure how much that's going to help, but we shall see. The one thing that you do have to notice is that I didn't mention this in the last uh, video, but the specialization skill, pilot is now a full-scale specialization, so it can be a uh, primary as well. Which means that you can uh, access all the... Uh, you can... Tr train all of the abilities so if we come to I think it's under R&D it's uh, officer training you can now see that we can uh, craft the pilot qualification and we get lock trajectory which gives us a uh, free turn we can turn but we head in the same direction so that's really I think that'll be really good for dual beam boat uh, things because you can swivel around something while keeping your trajectory right. Um, fly her apart gives you a big speed boost, but you damage yourself, which is and it gives you a uh, damage bonus. Form up gives you a teleport, which is quite cool. Uh, reroute reserves to weapons. Sets weapon power drain to zero and 40% fire cycle haste, but it uh, drains from engines. That sounds all right, actually. Gives you a lot of weapon power. Seems all right. I think that that's all we need to be worried about for the moment because I don't think I can uh, make any other manuals. Nope. Okay, so we'll just have to uh, live with it for the moment. But we're going to head off and do Delta flight now. See, I should have a new. Yeah, I've now got two uh, universal tech upgrades. They're quite cool, the enhanced universal tech upgrades. So let's head to the USS Burn and we'll auto navigate there. So, yeah, from what it looks like, you know, the Iconians have made a really big. You know, the Iconians have made a pretty humongous statement. They just came in and destroyed the last remnants of the oldest race in the galaxy. I think that that's... You know, we've got to hope that they got something out of it. You know, did we get anything out of that? Or was that just literally a showcase of this is how far the Iconians are willing to go? And... Uh, we might have to be willing to go just as far. Ooh, my uh, my Omega crafting is going swimmingly. Got a lot of it to do, shall we say? At the moment, I'm trying to get all my basics into silvers because the rest the rest of it won't take that long. But this is the this is the real time-consuming bit. You know, the bit where you have to be constantly in the game and crafting just silvers, silvers, and silvers. And considering I have about 2,000 of these damn things to make, I'm going to have to run this project an awful lot. I think something like 80 times or something like, you know, do five 
five of these 80 times so yeah you can see I've got a lot to go on and it's going okay down here we'll just keep crafting and crafting and crafting that's the name of the game G Rind so let's see what Paris's bright idea is pretty good job I'm using the assimilated kit for the uh, tanking it's just one thing I think you have to do if you're using an anchored build you have to use the assimilated shield otherwise you just get wrecked cool looking ship oh look who it is It's Miral Paris, Tom and Bellana's daughter, last seen in the Gateway missions, I believe. Welcome to the USS Burn. Normally I'm the security chief and second officer on the USS Kirk, but she took heavy damage during the battle in the Lena system. Until she gets out of dry dock, I and many of the crew accepted temporary postings to other ships. I wasn't expecting to get a request to join my father's task force, but Delta Flight is doing some good. I want to help. The Kuvama herself, and in fact voiced by the same person who played her in Endgame, I believe. So, nice little bit of uh, continuity. We've both come a long way since the regular system, haven't we? I wasn't sure if I was getting out of that business with Bavat in one piece. I'm sorry I haven't gotten the chance to thank you for your help until now. Thank you. Now back to the war. It's time to stop some Iconians. Let's hope. It's not that unusual. My grandfather was an admiral, and my mom, and most of the people I consider my extended family are either in Starfleet or are like seven, who might as well be. <laughs> Truthfully, I think Dad's finding this more difficult than I am. I'm looking forward to it too. I don't know what crazy scheme my father's cooked up this time, but the more off the wall his ideas are, the more they seem to work. With you on the team, I'm sure we'll complete this mission. But let me know if you need me to translate. Dad has this habit of talking in phrases that went out of style 400 years ago. Hey, those phrases are perfectly in fashion. And uh, Paris... One thing that you do realise is Paris was an admiral but got demoted and we haven't quite figured out why. I'm Kana Jinnis, the team scout. No one's better than I am at finding trouble. And believe me, I've found plenty. I uh, borrowed my first shuttle off a landing pad when I was 10. I didn't think I'd ever have a chance to join Starfleet. But luckily, people like Captain Paris can see the person behind the incident reports. Now I have a chance to make a difference. Ah, so Tom Paris is being Michael Garibaldi from Babylon 5, where he's just taking all the troublemakers of the galaxy and making elite teams out of them. It's good to get a chance to know everyone on the team before the action starts. It's bad enough fighting the Heralds. We don't need any interpersonal conflicts muddying the waters. You can count on me, sir, and I know I can count on you. Yep, because I'm awesome. Jolon True, do you understand ancient Earth humor? Paris, the older one, keeps asking me if I am two weeks from retirement. Is that supposed to be humorous? You're a Vulcan. Not a Romulan. It is supposed to be, but it wasn't funny now. I, it isn't funny in the 21st century either. I thought so. Look, when things get messy out there, and they will, stick with the team and keep your head down. If we work together, we might just get out of this in one piece. Most of us, anyway. <laughs> Considering the mess you're in. See what Ferrix has to say. Hello there. I'm Ferrix, and I'm a... Well, I don't have a specialization like most of the others. But Captain Paris calls me the cook. I don't know why. I could burn water. But it seems to amuse him for some reason. I'm a traitor and blockade runner. Any place where there's conflict, there's usually a few good deals to be made. I wasn't too sure about leaving the Delta Quadrant, knowing the territory is a good part of staying alive, you know. But Tom convinced me. And except for all the Heralds trying to kill us, it's not too bad so far. Oh, we have to have a pet Talaxian, don't we? You know, one of the things...
things I've enjoyed the most about coming here is the opportunity to get to know people from other cultures. Klingons, Romulans, humans, Andorians, Betazoids. So many different intriguing species. Hey, after this mission, how about we grab a drink? And I can tell you about the third time I left Benth in custody and then broke through a fourth defense line to recover the lost chalice of Zazilma. Oh good, we've got a nice little rogue on the team. And I'm the Admiral here, so I'm the ranking officer. I'm trying to remember what I've done that, well, I've done very many bad things in the name of the galaxy. And in fact, in the 2800, I'm going to be naughty. Andrew Weston, all around genius. Don't let the lack of pips on my collar fool you. I'm just as good as anyone from Starfleet. Better even, because I don't let the rules get in my way. I spent some time at the Academy, but I left when I realized Starfleet wasn't for me. We're all stayed. Always wondered if things would have been different for us if she'd had the courage to walk away when I did. <sighs> if you heard me face palming there, I do apologize. Sure. <laughs> Kirk reprograms the Kobayashi Maru, and he's a legend. I take a creative approach to alter my grade on the Astrometrics final, and I get tossed out on my ear. <laughs> Starfleet needs to loosen up a bit, if you ask me. And that time I spent in New Zealand? Yeah, I did everything they accused me of, and then I did my time. Like I said, I don't like rules. Just because I'm not as stiff doesn't mean I don't want to help win the war. My main focus is computers, specifically encryption algorithms. I've been studying the Iconian tech, and I think I've made some inroads into the fractals they're using for... You know what? The details don't matter. When it comes to taking out Iconian security protocols, I'm the man for the job. Okay. <laughs> and Guroth, finally. Klingon! Warrior, join with us and stab at the heart of the Iconian. We will either be victorious, or we race towards Stovacor. Today is a good day. Oh god, I had a triple in my backpack and it ate the gach. Do I have any more food in here that I'm going to get a bad triple from? You notice I did a little bit of triple breathing and I have a... I can't remember what this one's called. The Nielsen triple. It's the uh, max damage triple. 2.5% all damage. But because I've got a gambling device, I will probably end up breeding the 2.5% damage triple and giving it to my people. In fact, speaking of people to give it to, where's my tack? I want his I want his kick to do more damage. Here you go. And I think I need not upgrade. Replicator. Yeah, I believe it's Tranya that upgrades the no, it's not Tranya. It's um, it's Tranya that gets it to this stage. So it's something else that gets it to the Nielsen stage. So I'm just going to give all my guys these, and that means more damage. But you know, I'm uh, using the gambling device, which is just better. Warrior, I am the chief weapons expert. Most weapons on ships are too puny. I make them strong. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you loaded five quantum torpedoes into one casing? <laughs> you have to reinforce the tubes, but the result is most satisfying. In other words, a planet probably explodes if you do that. Well, it would be quite satisfying if you'd had a bad day. Like Paris, what the hell's wrong with you? Thanks for coming. Nice to see you again, especially after what happened at New Romulus and Lanus. As you well know, the war is not going too well. Delta Flight is one of the ways we're trying to change that. We're a cross-faction team picked for our abilities, not our politics. Now the Alliance needs us to handle an important mission. I hate putting your crew at risk, too. 
but we're going to need you on this one. Obviously played by Robert Duncan McNeil, so they're getting all the guys in. Oh, not much. We're just going to slip into a heavily guarded system that the Iconians already control, avoid detection and probable destruction, steal a Solonay device that could give them a beachhead in our dimension, and escape with our lives. Sound like fun? Nice that you spared me the details. So this my used bauble. to be Calbriden 3. Intelligence believes that the Iconians destroyed the planet to gather materials for a subspace disruption device. We think they intend to use this device to open a door for their Solonay forces to enter our space. A whole new fleet for the Iconians? We can't let that happen. Exactly. But the planetary debris has created an asteroid field, and the mineral content of those asteroids will shield us from the Iconian sensor arrays. I've plotted a course for us, but we'll still need to watch for the Herald patrols. The station with the device is in the center of the debris. Weston will override their computers while we run interference. Once the station's shields are down, we'll eliminate it and the device with extreme prejudice. Is that another reference from that ancient program about impossible missions you like to watch? Uh, something like that. The Alliance doesn't have a fleet to send against this station. We're it. If we can't do it, no one can. So, no pressure. I hope you're all ready to do the best flying you've ever done, because that's what we're going to need to complete this mission. Let's head them up and move them out. Dismissed. <sighs> I suppose we better get motoring. Why is my gambling device in space? <laughs> gambling device interferes with everything. Guess what they say, children? Gambling doesn't pay. The rubble in our way used to be the planet known as Calbriden 3. Uninhabited, luckily. But they had high amounts of topoline, iridium, and boronite. When the boronite and iridium are combined and exposed to an electrical charge, they create spatially inverted tetrions. Lots of spatially inverted tetrions. That's why the Heralds are here. To create a pocket of our space where the Solonay can survive. From there, they'll expand, and what's good for the Solonay is fairly terrible for us. Sounds about right. Also, isn't Boronite all made... Isn't Boronite all necessary for manufacturing Omega particles? The Heralds have set up a security beacon at the entrance to this system. We'll need to disable it before we can attempt to slip through this asteroid field. You'll notice that my anchor trait actually goes on. Just being stationary for a bit, and it stays on for a while. Okay, Weston. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take down this security grid. We only have a limited amount of time before a patrol comes by and finds us. I need help inputting the proper subspace frequencies as I use my deflector dish to cycle through the possibilities. You'll need to match the alpha, beta, and gamma bands. With my subroutine scrambler, that should be enough to break through their security. Oh dear. Oh right, so it's a timing thing. security perimeter won't stay down for long. Okay, here's the good news. The topoline and the planetary debris will hide us from the Herald sensors. Now keep the larger deposits between your ship and the Iconian station. If you stray too far off the path, they'll find us. So keep moving and stay in formation. If you encounter any patrols, take them out as quickly as you can. We need to get in position before the Heralds know we're here. How would you rate your piloting abilities? Rubbish. Bringing up your navigational HUD, now. Try to stick to the path I've outlined. So what I'm doing, you'll notice me losing stacks of anchored briefly there. But if I stop, I'll get them back. The 
mineral content of the asteroids will shield us from the Herald sensor. Try to stay in formation with the rest of the squadron. Well, catch up then, slow bees. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. Uh, they're right. They were lame. They were lame now. I'm not sure what that means. Is it some kind of alpha quadrant thing? Kinda. I'll explain it later, Ferrix. Fire your proton packs, kids. The next turn is a tight one. Really? You know what? I think it might actually be a good thing if the Iconians wiped us out. Everyone's mom tells them they're handsome, Ferris. Friendly fire. Ow, I'm wounded. Fewer asteroids through here. More chances of being spotted. Race you. Torpedoes loaded We're and ready. Sensors show that this asteroid is mostly hollow. If we blow through where the rock is thinnest, we can slip through without being detected. And you'll notice my anchored trait is coming back as well, so if I just hold and wait, I will get full anchored back. Fire in the hole! And then even though I'm moving here, wait and see with anchored dropping. This reminds me of flying through Earth's space dock. <laughs> they don't like it when you do that at full impulse. Yeah. Uh, wait. Who let Ferrix fly inside ESD? Weston? No comment. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy night. Ha! <laughs> I've flown through worse in the Badlands. Not too bad. But then again, I... Overall, watch the paint job there, Tiger. Don't be a rear seat pilot. I think you mean backseat driver. But we're flying, uh, sir. It's just the way it is, isn't it? So yeah, that's kind of what I try and do with anchored. Is like get four stacks of it. Up ahead. Take them out before they can warn the others. This is going to be fun. I'm jamming their outgoing transmissions. But it won't last. Oh. Shields are down. We're taking on boarding party. Why is my ship not firing? Damn it! Hang on, Moral. I'm bringing a team over to help. Ugh. Take out those arrows. That took about three attempts to get my ship to actually fire them, which was a bit rubbish. We need backup over here. Get a team and get over to Moral's ship. Okay. Okay, we got this. My team and the Burns crew have cleared most of the boarding parties, but there are still heralds trying to get to the bridge and more pinning me down near the armory. Head toward me. If we can team up, we can make a push towards the bridge. It's alright, my gambling device is online. All is well. Whatever that is, I like it. It does a lot of damage.
What do you think, Paris? Fell back here to grab some phaser rifles and got bottled up by those heralds. Thanks for the help. The bridge crew has sealed off the bridge and locked the ship's computers down, but the heralds aren't giving up. All of the remaining boarding parties are moving toward the bridge. If we don't get there before the heralds break through, they'll slaughter everyone there and set the ship to self-destruct. Yeah. Now that you and your team are here, we can clear out the remaining heralds, get to a turbo lift, and head to the bridge. Lock and load, everybody. It's time to save the day. Time for some realism. You can see my criticals hitting for quite a bit more now. Thank you, gambling device. Oh! I need to... I do need to breed a few more triples, though. Now... Nice shot. Let's get up to the bridge. This is a side event we don't really need. Morale! Welcome to the party. We could use a little help. You're telling me. Whoa, what hit me when I was on the deck? Yeah, those guys in confined space is not funny. I think that's the last of them. What's our status? Your ship is damaged and you have crew in sick bay, Morale. I don't want any unnecessary casualties. I have great respect for your abilities, but if this is some sort of Klingon, glory-seeking, never give up, today is a good day to die kind of thing... Everyone on this ship knew the risks when we started this mission, including me. The boarding parties are gone and we need to keep moving. We have to get to the station and finish our mission before we run into any more Herald patrols. As much as I hate to say it, you're right. If we live through this, your mom is going to be so proud, but she's going to think I was an idiot for trying to hold you back. That's if we live. What do we need to do to get your ship back up and running? I know a few of Andrew's tricks. Use one of his encrypted override codes to lock the heralds out of our computer so they couldn't take control of the ship. I could use some extra hands to get these systems restored. Good job on the computers, Morale, but... But Andrew? Did he teach you anything else that got him sent to a penal colony? Probably. Let's face it, Paris, you were there once. And it was Jane where you got your ass out of there. That does it. Let's both get back to our sh Let's head. And hopefully that tiny little distraction isn't is enough for us to keep moving. The heralds are gonna notice one of their patrols is missing. Let's move. Fly through rings, is this Superman 64 or something? Time to pick up the pace, people. I got some scans of those ships. Should give me an advantage when we get to the station. We're coming up on the center of their operations. I'm playing Superman 64. Which I suppose is something I should be doing because I Tactic never played Solene it normally. Signatures ahead. Ah, Solene. Ugh. They give me the creeps. Oh god, look at that. We might need to kill these guys. 
Target the ships defending the station. Eat it. Very clever. I keep trying to cycle around. I should literally stay away from my weapons, but it's just I should stay away from my movement controls, but it's just a habit. Weston, you're up. We'll keep them busy. On it. Iconian energy signature detected. That's a dreadnought, isn't it? Evasive maneuvers. Pattern Paris Delta 2. Oh, good. We need to abort. We can't do this without Weston. I can do it. Andrew gave me a backup copy of his algorithms in case something happened. We're... We're falling back. Tad, I know you mean well, but... I have to do this. You know what will happen if the Solanet can break through. We'll lose everything. Okay, Moral. You can be almost as stubborn as your mother, but I know when I'm beat. All right, people, you heard her. We're going in hot. Cover Merle's ship so she can finish this. We are Delta Flight, and we will not be stopped. Where's that dreadnought gone? Well, at least I've got four stacks. yippee ki -yay. I'm going to break you. The station shields are down. It can be damaged. Can it? Well, the dreadnought's gone, so let's get in there. I hate the fact I keep moving. I've got to stop myself doing that. really got to stop myself moving when I'm anchoring. It's stupid. I've just got so used to orbiting, it's just muscle memory or whatever you want to call it. One down. It's just about to warp in right on top of me. Why can't I fire at... It's like I was right next to it looking directly at it. Why couldn't I fire the huge laser? Why couldn't I fire my huge phaser at it? Don't quite understand that one. Last note, destroy it, and we can take out the dreadnought and finish this. At least sensor analysis appears to be staying up, which is quite nice. And it means that you're not in Ah, that was one of the original problems with sensor analysis, was that you always stayed in combat Shields with it. Are offline. Destroy the dreadnought. I would do if it would take me out of combat. There we go. Eat it, son of a bitch. Where's that quantum top? Where's that? I have their main computer. They're still trying to start the conversion process, but their shields are completely okay, down. Okay, let's blow up this thing and head home. 
Where's that quantum torpedo you promised me? We're being pulled in. Evasive maneuvers. Oh, just wonderful. Oh. Yeehaw, really? I found it? something interesting in the computer system before the station blew. It's coordinates for another sphere. And this one looks to be very strategically important. It might even be a secondary hub for the Iconian Gateway Network. I grabbed everything on it I could find. I'll transmit the files to Captain Cogren at Alliance Command. Maybe he can get a team together to investigate. How many spheres have the Iconians got? The station is destroyed, and we've completed our mission. But not without paying a price. Weston was a talented engineer and a damn fine pilot. He may not have wanted to be in Starfleet, but there was a time I didn't think I was Starfleet material either. Sometimes rebels make the best officers. We know our duty. We just have our own way of getting it done. And Andrew happens to be my name. So I got killed. Well, I don't have his second name, but hey. Exactly. It's been a pleasure flying with you. Maybe we can do it again sometime before this thing ends. Consider yourself an honorary member of Delta Flight. Well, thank you very much. Otherwise known as Suicide Squad, probably. Losing Weston is regrettable, but we needed a victory today. Thanks to you, we have one. Defeating a Herald Dreadnought is a significant achievement. Destroying their station and keeping the Solene locked in subspace is even more valuable. The number of ships and soldiers we have is finite. We cannot allow the Iconians to have a numerical advantage as well as a technological one. I will examine the files Lieutenant Commander Paris managed to recover from the Herald computers. Perhaps a strike on this space she found will be our next move. Maybe it will, but we'll have to wait until they do another update to find that out. Oh, very nice. So, that's it for this uh, mission, and that's it for the brand new missions from Season 10. Uh, I quite enjoyed them to tell you the truth. They're beautifully put together and this is something that I think that Star Trek Online does incredibly well. Even though it's an MMO, it's single player experience is really good. You know, the missions are really nicely put together and it's just, you know, it's just a very smooth experience. There's all, you know, all the voice acting and everything like that. It's just really nicely put together. Yes, it has things that are definitely wrong with it, but I think for the most part, the positives outweigh the negatives. They just need to sort a few things out. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode, and next time we'll be back onto the Klingon storyline. Uh, I've been marauding like hell with my uh, Klingon at this point, but that's pretty much all you do with them, isn't it? But anyway, guys, that's for another time. This is Boomer, and I'll see you soon. Take care.